In today's video we're going to be looking at an amazing trick to make integrating easy. Uh, this happens when we have an odd integrand. The following function holds. For an integral between symmetric limits a and minus a, if the function that you're integrating, known as the integrand, is odd, then it's equal to zero. So whenever you see an integral in this form, you don't have to bother. So now I'm going to explain why. And I'm going to explain that algebraically and geometrically. So, as you know, an odd integrand has the following property. And just for good measure, even. Now, if you watch my video on integrals uh, between odd and even functions in their relationship, then the following sentence should make quite a lot of proof, uh, quite a lot of sense, sorry. So we're taking an odd function and integrating, and the integral of an odd function is an even one. Now by the nature of an even function, f of minus a is the same as f of a. So if you can see what's happening already, we'll have f of a minus f of a. Which is quite a lovely, simple proof. Now I'm going to quickly show you geometrically. So let's take two example functions, an even one and an odd one. x squared and that's x cubed. So we have x squared and x cubed. So we have even. and odd functions, and we're integrating between a and minus a for both. Now 
And what do you notice here? In the odd function, we have negative of the same area up here. That's why they cancel out and equal zero. Make sure to remember when you're using this trick that what you're integrating is in fact odd. So I'll leave you with a quick little tip. And this holds true for every uh, pair or set of functions that you're integrating. So make sure that what you're integrating ends up being odd.